Hi there. In this business topic video, we're just going to take a look at the method of calculating one of the most important approaches to investment appraisal. How you calculate a thing called net present value. Now, of course, it's important to remember what investment appraisal is all about. There are various techniques available, but they all essentially try to do the same thing, which is to provide some financial analysis to help decide whether an investment project is worthwhile, whether it's worth proceeding with. And uh, net present value is just one of the, the main approaches, a very popular approach. The basic idea of NPV, net present value, is to try to work out the, the monetary value now of the various future cash flows associated with the project. And then to add them all up and to see whether the project has a positive net present value. Now, the concept of uh, net present value really is all about understanding what's known as the time value of money. So if you imagine I gave you two options, would you rather have £100 in your pocket now from me, or would you rather have £100 from me in your pocket in 12 months' time? The answer is you probably want the money now, because you could do something with it. You could earn a return on that money. And £100 in 12 months' time, well, there's, I guess, an uncertainty as to whether it will arise whether I'll actually pay it to you. So there must be some risk associated with the second choice. And that's basically the idea of net present value. It tries to adjust for the risk of future cash flows, but also to bring them back into uh, their monetary value now rather than uh, two, three, four years in the future. So MPV is all about the time value of money. The basic idea, it's better to receive cash now rather than in the future. And future cash flows... Uh, whilst they are worth something, they are worth less than receiving the same amount now. And what you do with, the, with these calculations is to use what's known as a discount factor to apply to each cash flow to bring it back to an estimate of what the present value, the present value now of those cash flows are. The discount factors will usually be given to you and essentially they're linked to the required rate of return of the project. So what we'll do for the rest of this video is just look at the calculation of present value and net present value. In a subsequent video, we'll take a look at how you interpret the data and how you might use it to decide whether an investment project is worth, worth progressing. But for now, let's just look at the calculations. To calculate the present value, the, the value now of a future cash flow, you take the cash flow and you multiply it by the discount factor to give the present value. So you take the cash flow, times it by the discount factor, and that should equal the present value. So let's have a look at an example. Let's say the cash flow was uh, £20,000. Let's say that the discount factor, perhaps it was a 10% discount factor in a year's time, uh, roughly 0.9. So the cash flow, uh, the present value of that to £20,000 it's actually £18,000. That's the value now of that, that uh, 20000 cash flow discounted from the future. So what we do to calculate net present value is really simple. We look at all the project's cash flows. We convert them to uh, present values by applying the discount factor. And then we add them all up and see whether the total is positive or negative. That's the net present value, the sum of all the present values of future cash flows. So let's finish off by having a look at a quick example of that in action. So on the screen here is a very simple investment project. We have a, a three year project that involves an investment right at the start of a hundred thousand, hundred thousand pounds. That's an outflow, a hundred thousand pounds. And the project generates uh, profits uh, in th over three years of 40,000 pounds in the first year. 50,000 in the second year and in the third year it generates profits of 60,000 pounds. Now if we took the investment of 100 and then uh, added on to that the, uh, the three years worth of profits it would come to a total of 50,000 pounds. A net flow of 50,000 pounds which is positive but of course we know that those project profits arise in the future so we need to apply our discount factors to bring those future cash flows back to a more sensible view of what those uh, what that money is worth now. So we apply the discount factor. These discount factors I've taken from the table, assuming a 10% required rate of return. These are the discount factors that the tables tell us to apply. What we then do is multiply each of those numbers, the, the net flows, by the discount factor. 
obviously the investment is a hundred thousand that's now so that's uh, that's time value now discount factor one but the three years of project profits there need to be applied using the individual discount factors so for example in year one a profit of forty thousand pounds we apply the discount factor of 0.91 to give us a present value of thirty six thousand four hundred we do the same for year two and the same for year three to give us the present values of those cash flows in those three years. To work out the net present value, we simply take the present value column and we add them all up. So if you take a negative 100,000 investment and then add in the positive present values of the three years worth of cash flows, you come to a positive NPV of 23,500. Now, as we'll see in a subsequent video, we can interpret that number in different ways, but essentially a positive NPV is usually a sign that a project is worth pursuing. So 23,500 is positive and therefore all other things being equal, that looks like a worthwhile project. But we'll take a look at the, uh, the judgments that can be made and some of the issues arising from this approach in a separate video. But for now, that's a brief introduction to how you calculate net present value.